What's up guys and happy new year. Now I want to talk about the power of the PS5 and Series X running games. And let's start off talking about Cyberpunk. So Cyberpunk 2077 still has a lot of bugs and other problems. It's proof that next gen, well, isn't really here yet. The game in its open world is taxing on even the highest in gaming PCs. And when it comes to PS5 and Xbox Series X at the moment, it's only possible to play last generation versions via backwards compatibility. Still both systems struggle to play the game at a consistent frame rate and currently there is no ray tracing. Not sure how you guys feel about ray tracing, but really it doesn't matter to me. Sure it looks good, but if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. Some of the problems is because of developer CD Projekt Red's poor optimization of the game. But if you look at games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla that runs at, well actually runs less than 4K resolution, and games like Spider-Man Miles Morales that have players choosing between quality and performance modes, each offering trade-offs. So what does this tell me? Well, that 4K 60 frames future isn't quite here yet as well as high frame rates with ray tracing graphics technology, which brings more realistic lighting. But as of right now, both PS5 and Xbox Series X need more horsepower to meet the demands of next generation games. PS5 and Xbox Series X have some good games to test out their new systems. But unfortunately, not all games can hit 4K 60 FPS. But Spider-Man Miles Morales did a great job delivering a next gen experience with little compromise. The game showcased enhanced detail and new ray tracing depth. The added ray tracing gives the city the next gen realism it needs, where the world is reflected in real time on the shiny glass buildings towering over Manhattan. Hey, it, the game looks great. Really great, by the way. And even Miles himself features greater skin detail. But even then, games are forced to compromise between two modes, quality and performance. Now, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, on the other hand, had to make greater compromises. Even with new, more powerful consoles, the team couldn't force 4K 60 FPS with ray tracing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but both versions of the game never hit 4K resolution. Instead, game's resolution changed on the fly, depending on the situation in the game. It jumps between 1728p and 1440p. Now, the real question is, Will there be a PS5 Pro in the future as technology continues to improve? I think soon technology will be able to achieve that Ray Trace 4K 60 FPS future, but I think we will see it on PC first. And not only that, but when that happens for PC, I know you console players are going to be mad and the demands are going to be high and you guys are going to want a mid-cycle upgrade as well. But I can't say for sure if there is going to be a ps5 pro or xbox series x2 we'll just have to wait and see you know i'm just a random youtuber i don't know now think about this the ps4 pro in the xbox one x systems came out in 2016 three years after the base systems release if that timeline holds true for the current generation then we could see a mid-generation refresh in 2023 now don't take my word on that I'm just thinking out loud, but you never know. Technology seems to be advancing faster than ever, and I'm sure AMD will have some new hardware for Sony and Microsoft in the future, and we'll just have to wait and see. I still haven't got a PS5 yet, or Xbox Series X. Every time I try to order one, I guess the scalpers are still beating me to them. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. Thank you.